There are some new developments this morning in the search for seven-year-old Kyron Horman. NBC's Kate Snow is here with some exclusive details. Hey, Kate, good morning. Good morning. And this has now become the largest search ever in Oregon. The sheriff says they pursued 3,300 leads, continue to make significant progress. But despite new clues this morning, seven-year-old Kyron is still missing. So far, no one has been named a suspect or a person of interest. Kyron's biological parents and his mother's new husband have talked to us at length. You saw some of it there. You'll hear more from them tonight on Dateline. They shared their photo album with us as well. Kyron is grinning in almost every photo. They firmly believe, Anne, that someone knows something, that he is out there. They believe he's alive, and if someone would just come forward with the information, they could find him. A lot of people are hoping they're right. Kate Snow, thank you so much. And again, for more of Kate's report, you can catch Al. Thanks. It has been almost six months since the mysterious disappearance of Kyron Horman, and the days of intense searching have now given way to a painful waiting game for his mother and father. Then we see Kate Snow. She's joining us here with the latest. Hey, Kate, good morning. Good morning to you. And these six months have been so agonizing for Kyron's birth parents, Kane and Desiree. They firmly believe that his stepmother, Terry Horman, who dropped him off at school that day last June, has the answers to where their little boy is. And they are now demanding that she tell authorities and the public what really happened and who say they saw Kyron that morning that he went missing. We're also going to map out the morning and what the stepmother did, what we know she did that morning, and some of the time that's not accounted for. So maybe there's something that can be uncovered that may hopefully find him. Thank you so much this morning, Kate. And you can see uh, that Dateline searching for